Thank you very much, Debbie. Our student speaker today is one of 129 students from 30 countries and 75 universities chosen this academic year as a Schwarzman Scholar. Today, Crystal Thomas earns her bachelor's degree in biological sciences from Carnegie Mellon University's Mellon College of Science. <laughs> Crystal has been an active member of the Carnegie Mellon community, serving as founding president of Colors at CMU, a student organization that promotes open conversations on race and diversity. She served as one of the inaugural members of the Diversity and Inclusion Roundtable and is a mentor in the Coaching Minority Progress and Success in Science program. She's a past president of the Gates Millennium Scholarship from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and is an Andrew Carnegie Society Scholar, a distinction bestowed upon only 40 graduating seniors. The daughter of a Haitian immigrant, Crystal plans to complete a Master of Global Affairs with a concentration in public policy at Tsinghua University in Beijing, China, and work to address barriers to healthcare faced by immigrant families. It was a great pleasure for me this morning to meet Crystal's parents. Crystal, I would like to now invite you to the podium. Five years ago, I came to CMU as a high school student. I was here for the university's Summer Academy of Math and Science, or SAMS for short. Now, I didn't know that Carnegie Mellon, or that SAMS, excuse me, was a program for minority students. And the entire time, I was surrounded by people who looked like me. So I left thinking, this is great. Carnegie Mellon University, a historically black college for math and science, right? I'm totally going here. <laughs> Even though CMU wasn't exactly what I expected, I'm still so glad I decided to come here. I have learned so much while here at Carnegie Mellon. And not just academically, problem solving, how to hold difficult conversations. And most importantly, I now know there's still so much more that I don't know. What drives people? How do our environments influence us? How is our world interconnected? I've started to think about these questions because I've been fortunate enough to meet many of you. And getting to know your stories, your perspectives, and the way you think about things, I've been blown away. As someone who came from a town where high school students thought they couldn't go to college if they didn't have the money, as someone whose pediatrician told her, at least one of us made it out of this worthless place as someone whose relative told her, isn't Carnegie Mellon a bit too advanced for you? I am immensely proud to be a part of this campus. And I am so proud to be able to walk with you today. <laughs> but what now? We're about to leave the CMU bubble. Some of us may start working and receive nice paychecks. Some of us may go into graduate school and receive all right paychecks. <laughs> and some of us may take a well-deserved break. But what then? Instead of thinking about the next achievement, now's our opportunity to reflect on purpose as we ent enter the next stage of our life. Purpose, the reason we exist. 
Maybe Carnegie Mellon has already helped you find your purpose. Maybe you're just getting started. We should reflect on purpose because it develops us, keeps us resilient, and can lead us to happiness. So how do we crystallize purpose or even find purpose in the first place? We help others. We are driven by the need to impact others. We're social animals after all. I'm a biology major, trust me. So what's the relationship between purpose, helping others, and happiness? Well, to me, there are three levels of happiness. First, you can gain happiness from simply building something. Then there's a second level of happiness when people praise what you have built. And then there's this third level of happiness when someone tells you what you have built has changed my life. That level of happiness just can't be beat. And the path that makes you feel the most fulfilled, the path that gives you the greatest happiness, can give you insight on purpose. We've already been practicing impacting the lives of others. We've overloaded, become execs on boards, volunteered for a thousand plus, tutored, TA'd, researched, strived, because CMU is a striving place. We're a bunch of overachievers who've been presented with so many opportunities and have been encouraged to learn. Now's our time to put practice into action. Continue to strive. Continue to aspire. And as you leave here today, center your life around purpose. Center your life around impacting others. Let purpose guide you. And to everyone who helped us along the way, mentors who guided us throughout the process, faculty members who helped us see just what we could do, and loved ones who have been with us and encouraged us every step of the way, thank you. And thank you, class of 2017. I know you will do great things. Thank you. Thank you, Crystal.